Hello friends, in this video let us do a paper analysis of electronic science paper which was conducted by NTA UGC NET on 5th September 2020. Hello friends, this is Arun Kumar here. I welcome you to my channel Craving Gyan. If you are visiting first time to my channel, make sure you are going to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get instant notification whenever I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss the paper analysis and I am going to talk about the questions that was asked on 5th September 2020 and I'm going to talk about the paper level it was easy difficult or moderate my opinion I'm going to share over here and I'm going to talk about the scoring part is paper 1 a scoring or paper 2 is a scoring one I'm going to talk about marks weightage expected cutoff what next with a short disclaimer I'm going to start with the video the question what they've asked is face lock loop does not consist of Smith trigger, phase detector, voltage control oscillator, low pass filter. And next question was based on numerical with respect to ADC. And they have asked with respect to carrier power in AM, especially they have focused with respect to vestigial sideband modulation. In the case of vestigial sideband modulation, what you have to do is you have to calculate the sideband power. Then you have to calculate carrier power based on that. Then the total power is given by PC into 1 plus mu square divided by 2 it is for sinusoidal or pc plus p sideband power sideband power means it consists of both upper sideband as well as lower sideband so this is how you have to tackle the problems so they have asked the question based on thermocouple also and in a move state machine output is a function of output is a function of small signal circuit of tunnel diode they have asked addition of negative feedback to control system how it impacts on transient response this question they have asked now they have also asked with respect to triangular oscillator 1101 in a 7 bit e1 parity amming code what is the sequence you'll be getting what is the sequence you'll be getting you have to represent in terms of n comma k z transform based on roc they have asked so they have asked with respect to half power n into u of n and one more question is like minus 1 by 3 power n minus 1 into u of minus n minus 1 something like that so they have asked this question so how to calculate the roc h parameters to y parameters they have asked one question equation of depletion region in terms of phi phi ms all those things they have asked and ADC was asked with respect to matching nothing but match the following base question they have asked with respect to ADC. And CPLDs and FPGA they have asked two or three questions. Say suppose in the case of FDM each channel is having a bandwidth of or is taking a bandwidth of 50 kilo and 10 channels are there so it is multiplied by 10 which is equals to 500 kilo you will be getting. Each channel is separated by a guard band of 1 kilohertz. So 10 channels means how many guard bands you require? 9 guard bands is more than enough, right? So it is another 9 kilohertz. So the minimum bandwidth or the bandwidth required in the case of FDM is 509 kilohertz. So they have asked a similar question based on upper address range go high for 40 character LED, LCD decrement arrangement of like work function they have asked they have given silver nickel cobalt and one more material they have asked and they have asked what is the characteristic impedance see if they have given like a normal one the characteristic impedance is given by under root of zsc into zoc easily you can find whenever they are giving real part but they have given a complex one it is a 75 at an angle of minus 5 so the calculator is not allowed so how we are going to solve these kind of problems is very very important steady state value of the first order system they have given the option as 0 1 1 minus of e power minus t u divided by tau this is the third option what they have said and the fourth option i guess none of the above or infinite something similar to this option they have given see in order to discuss this problem proportional derivative problem they have asked based on zeta value zeta value equals to 0.8 for a pd control system when you are going to make use of pd control system stability further increases so before to that what was the value of zeta they have given is it 0.2 or is it 0.8 so whenever you are going to make use of derivative control at that time a zeta value is going to increase nothing but stability you are going to increase nothing but nothing but mp nothing but 
peak overshoot you are going to reduce so zeta value initially it was 0.2 after adding derivative control you will be getting zeta value which is equals to 0.8 sharing bridge is used for the measurement of capacitance as well as phase angle in december 2019 what he tested is he tested with respect to megger instrument he tested with respect to megger instrument this time he is testing with respect to sharing bridge see for low resistance measurement which one you are going to make use potentiometer you are going to use or kelvin's double bridge you are going to use for medium resistance weed stone bridge you are going to use so problems based on weed stone bridge also they have asked so in the case of weed stone what he has asked means weed stone bridge is for used for the measurement of low resistance absolutely no very low resistance you can't measure so the weed stone bridge can able to measure the resistance value ranging from 1 ohm to some hundred of kilo ohms or in terms of mega ohms up to mega ohms you can make use of weed stone bridge greater than that it will fail you can make use of home meter series or shunt ohm meter also you can make use of old meter ammeter method also for medium resistance but for higher value of resistance you are going for loss of discharge method and you're going for mega instrument so in the fast track video i've covered all these things but if i'm talking about inductance which and all the things you can make use you can make use of maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge quality of the coil is medium hayes bridge quality of the coil is i anderson bridge and owens bridge you're going to use but for capacitance measurement you can make use of sortie's bridge d sortie's bridge Sortis bridge is for capacitor. D sortis bridge or modified D sortis bridge is for capacitors as well as epsilon, nothing but permittivity. And in the case of shearing bridge, you can make use of capacitance, phase angle, permittivity, all those things you can make use in the case of shearing bridge. All these things I have covered in the fast track session. If you are preparing for next UGC NED exams, December 2020 or Jan 2021, Training Gain has come up with startup bundle, small groups, all in one package, and development package. If you wish to register, please call to the number 6301356984. And apart from this, what they have asked is, again, match the following based on analog communication. AM is for rectifying type. This one thing, if you are knowing, you will be getting the answer. DPSK does not make use of synchronization. So, it is non-coherent detection. If you are knowing either AM or DPSK, straight away you are getting the answer. Question was not that much difficult. NMOS fabrication steps. This question already I have covered. NMOS fabrication, PMOS fabrication, as well as CMOS fabrication. In the case of CMOS, you will be having P well, N well, as well as twin tub process. In the case of twin tub, you are going to make use of epitaxial layer. And one question they have asked with respect to H parameters to T parameters also they have asked. The problem they have asked with respect to T parameters or ABCD parameter. T parameter is also referred as transmission parameter. And again the match the following question was with respect to rise time settling time and one of the match the following question was clistron buncher cavity straight away you'll be getting the answer tunnel diode characteristics even i've asked in the mock test the same similar question they have asked in the ugc NET exams also what he trying to ask means look at over here the characteristics for tunnel diode you'll be getting like this you will be getting like this so this point is called as peak point this point is called as peak point and the current what you will be getting is peak current and the current what you will be getting is peak current and this is a first valley and the current what you will be getting is valley current and the current what you will be getting is valley current in the case of tunnel diode in the case of ujt and in the case of gun diode you will be getting negative resistance so this part is negative resistance this part you will be getting negative resistance negative resistance means what say suppose if i am giving 10 volts if i am giving if i am getting 5 volts in the case of negative resistance if you are giving 10 volts you will be getting an amplification factor of some value say alpha so you may get 20 volts also so resistance being negative it is going to be exhibited from tunnel diode and where you will be getting negative resistance means between the valley as well as a peak nothing but greater than peak voltage you are getting negative resistance before to valley voltage you will be getting a negative resistance after this you will be getting a positive resistance only here also you will be getting positive resistance only 
and one funny thing is they have asked small signal analysis of tunnel diode hunt for a negative sign hunt for resistor to be negative nothing but what a resistor and resistor term if it is getting cancelled means the voltage across inductor and voltage across capacitor will be quality times of supply voltage boost up nothing but what resistance being negative so you have to hunt for the negative resistance value that's more than enough they have asked one question based on microprocessor this question will be a based uh, they have asked one question based on microprocessor this question will be a grace question because they have given add ax comma dash nothing nothing they have given so this question will be a grace question apart from this they have asked the question based on triangular oscillator and bandwidth efficiency bandwidth efficiency or to arrange in a decreasing order they have asked with respect to 16 psk 8 fsk 16 psk and 8 fsk numericals may change but they have asked similar kind of question syndrome based question they have asked match the following see in the case of counter type in the case of counter type what you know in the case of counter type error is a negative error is a negative in all these cases error is positive what they have asked in september 5th sa are practically used a to d converter practically used a to d converter and with respect to flasher type it is the fastest a to d it is the fastest a to d how much time it is going to take one times of t clock successive approximation it is going to take n times of t clock dual slope or integrating type it is 2 power n plus 1 minus 1 times of t clock whenever you want accuracy and wherever you want precision make use of dual slope or integrating type practically used in digital voltmeter or it is used to eliminate um effect used to eliminate um effect right next in the case of counter type the conversion time is 2 power n times of t clock 2 power n times of t clock 2 power n minus 1 times of t clock so this is the conversion time what you have to remember based on this match the following question they have asked and one question they have asked with respect to dual slope a to d dual slope means what it is also referred as integrating time so if you are knowing the formula v naught equals to minus 1 divided by rc into integral of vi of t dt this prob this formula if you are knowing it is more than enough simply to confuse you they have given a dual slope simply to confuse you they have given dual slope why you will be getting negative sign means the slope is negative because it is finding the value based on discharging in all other a to d it is on charging but in the case of dual slope it is discharging sleeve rate they have given sleeve rate equals to 0.5 volts per microseconds 0.5 volts per microsecond so in order to read 10 volts how much time you require how much time you require means how much time you require means 20 microseconds you require 20 microseconds you require similarly in order to read 1 volt how much time you require 2 microseconds you require convert into frequency that itself will be the answer so the answer they were expecting is 20 kilo comma 2 kilo which multi vibrator is used for free running oscillator free running oscillator which multi vibrator you are going to use you are going to make use of a stable multi vibrator for memory you are going to make use of bi stable multi vibrator and for trigger pulse you are going to make use of mono stable multi vibrator one funny thing is they have asked with respect to the question based on varactor diode that we were not expecting and they have asked the question based on microcontroller location address int0 int1 tf0 tf1 and reset they have asked see they have asked one question based on sequential circuit design step state transition model state table state diagram and truth table k map so what is the sequence you are going to follow this kind of question they have asked first question itself i got the question based on graph theory so graph theory question is also important they have asked a question based on phase velocity how you are going to find phase velocity means it is omega divided by beta which is equals to c divided by square root of mu r into epsilon r but what question e expected is it is c divided by square root of 1 minus of f divided by fc the whole square now 
no need to find whether that wave is a traveling or not nothing but guided wave or not because none of the option was none of the above or can't say so the frequency what they have given is greater than the cutoff frequency and the cutoff frequency they have given a and b values but they have given dominant mode dominant mode means what t one zero nothing but what fc c divided by 2a and again if you are going with uh, the formula you are getting trapped so this is how you are going to find the phase velocity this in this problem the phase velocity was greater than the speed of light that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second right and the, as with respect to class a class b class a b class c the are not they have not asked with respect to conduction angle they have asked with respect to decreasing order of output swing this was really a good question they have asked one problem on vestigial sideband and one problem they have asked on induction motor with respect to power synchronous power they have asked they have asked with respect to property of dft what is x conjugate of minus n we know that x of n equals to x of e power j omega x of e power j omega Next, what you have to do? You have to take x of minus 1. What is the property? Right. Next, what you have to do? Take the conjugation property. What is the value you will be getting? Right. So, like this, you have to split and then you have to write. Now, if I am talking about the Marx distribution, digital electronics questions was dead easy. You can score out of it. Microprocessor, one question was Gray's question and one question was you have to adjust the priority and memory location so you have to arrange in a particular order they have given that question was bit tricky and microcontroller one question was bit tricky rest of all the things it was easy networks if i am asking two questions from two port network only two port network two questions they have asked they have not as based on theorems they have not as based on theorems that was the funny thing and they have not as with respect to basics of networks and resonance hardly one question they have asked in the case of analog communication if i am speaking he has asked with respect to vestigial sideband and one question was based on match the following digital communication was good it was interesting questions uh, like not that much quality questions he has asked no like a normal question he has asked right edc questions was really good edc questions was really good he has tested with respect to phi also and he has tested with respect to work function that was really good and transducers we are we were expecting some good questions based on trans transducer but we didn't get some good questions based on transducers also in the case of transducers what and all the questions they have asked means based on thermocouple he has asked and sharing bridge we were expecting some good questions based on transducers but unfortunately we didn't get good questions on transducer and power electronics this time really has ditched in last year he has focused more on transducers and power electronics but this year they have not focused more on power electronics instead of that he has focused more on cmos will say fabrication part he has focused more control systems not really a good questions Two questions was easy and one question was based on M circles. Signals and systems if I am speaking property of DFT as asked. And again in the case of EMTL we were expecting good questions based on antenna but he has not asked. Instead of that he has asked with respect to rectangular waveguide and one more question based on uh, resistivity one question he has asked. Microwaves and radars if I am speaking not really a good quality questions he has asked placed on buncher, buncher cavity so this kind of questions everyone will know but we were expecting some good questions based on microwaves and radars and even on power electronics and transducers no it was really a messy kind of thing but as i discussed earlier the paper level was really good it was a quality questions and according to me it satisfied it satisfied me because the competitive exam paper should be like this only but I saw many dull faces when I stepped out of the examination hall. I, I saw many dull faces and I discussed even with my students the paper level was difficult. When I took a survey the paper level was difficult. More than 85% of the students told the paper level is difficult. Now if I am talking about the scoring part, paper 1 you can score easily. Minimum 75% you can score. Dead easy paper, paper 1. 
But if I am talking about paper 2, paper 2 is bit tricky. Say suppose at least if you can able to score 65 percent you are on the safe zone. Or say suppose if you are scoring 60 percent also then also you will be in the safe zone. Last year cutoff for general merit it was 58 percent, 56 to 58 percent for open category or general merit. And for JRF if I am speaking it is 63.5 percent I guess. Close to 63.5 or 64 percent it was the cutoff. This time the cutoff may vary because of COVID preparation was good with respect to few students. If I am keeping that one in my mind it is 65 percent. But paper level was really tough as many students were telling at that time it may fall to 61 percent. If you are scoring at least 61 percent you are on the safe zone. If you are writing UGC NET exam for the next time that is in the year December 2020 or Jan 2021. Craving Yarn has come up with startup bundle, small groups, all in one package, and as well as dynamite package. If you wish to register, call on the number 6301356984. 10 percent of the amount what you pay directly will be going for the course. With this, I am going to end up with the session. Hope so, you all will get cleared with the exams. Thank you, friends. All the best for your results.